Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 for May 22nd to the 23rd for my Gemini spirit. We're jumping straight into it with an Oracle card message for my Gemini's. May 22nd to the 23rd for my Gemini's for spirit. May 22nd to the 23rd for my Gemini's. All right. So before I started your video, I was um, rapping the song Trolls with uh, Nicki Minaj. <clears throat> And I was just basically saying the whole song. So clearly you got some people around you who are hating. Yep, overall energy is awareness. So you got some people like sneak this and plotting on you, vulnerability. It's like they're trying to get you when you're at your most vulnerable with the seal. Very observant. Yeah, they're trying to take you out of your comfort zone. So seals are usually, I mean, they're on the beach and stuff and in the water. But it's like they're trying to get you when you're out of the water, out of your element. Trying to get you out in an uncomfortable situation where you're most vulnerable. Be observant of people who try to get you out of your comfort zone in a way where it's like not a fun way. Okay, trying to get you to do things you, you really don't want to do. And we have crabs, retreat. Yeah, you want to go within. You're tired of going out. You're tired of partying. You're just tired of being around these people, wasting your energy on van energy vampires who don't give back. You want to retreat. And there's someone who wants to bring you out, especially if it's people who, where you go around them, you feel more drained than you do anything else. We have brownie protection. So you're protected, your energy is protected, you're retreating to protect your energy. And again, the overall is awareness. So there's some energy vampires around you who want to get you out of your element. And I don't know what they're trying to do to you, just drain your energy, I guess. But it's like, listen to that song. I don't know how you feel about Nicki Minaj or 6 9 but it's a message in that song for you if this reading resonates. Because it's like, I know you don't like me, you want to fight me. Always on my page, but never double tap like me. Like, it's people who are hating on you. It's friends, like frenemies, jealousy, people who don't actually like you, but they pretend to. They invite you places to mess with your head, mess with your heart, your mind, to drain you, make you feel out of your element. Like, you're retreating from these people. Be observant of the people you're around and how you feel after you hang out with them. Protect your energy. Have awareness be observant especially this weekend um message for my gemini's for may 22nd to the 23rd message for my gemini's for may 22nd to the 23rd <clears throat> last shuffle messages for my gemini well oh, may 22nd to the 23rd there we go And, it's, and I'm hearing a part, if you don't want no problems at your party, don't invite me. So I don't know if you're inviting this person to a party or they're inviting you out. Again, they're going to start drama at this place. They may act like they're your friend before people get there. And then people get there and they saying stuff to your face and trying to embarrass you. Just, yeah, you're going to be looking at them sideways like, you invited me out to this party. Well, all these people I don't know. So you could treat me like this and talk to me like this and act like this and have people asking me questions like this. Having me looking like this. You're going to look at them sideways. If this person don't go out with nobody this weekend, okay? You, you stay in the house this weekend. I'm sorry. Stay in the house this weekend, Gemini. We have the Ace of Wands. Eight of Wands. Yeah, someone's going to message you. They want to start a new passionate beginning with you. want to invite you out to a party. They're going to ask you out. Page of Wands. I mean, this person ain't got nothing but sex and passion in mind. If this isn't a sexual partner, this is a friend. Five of Cups. Someone you clearly had experience with and it didn't go well. Knight of Wands. I mean, it's nothing but fire here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Little Sagittarius. Or they, they're, a, oh, they're extremely attracted to you. And the King of Swords. This person is obsessed with you gemini they're obsessed with you obsessed with it's like it's a love they they love you so much they hate you like this person has an extreme obsession with you they're extremely attracted to you 
Four swords. Oh, I, as I cut the deck, block this person. They're crazy as shit. Overall energy is the fool card. Aquarius, they may take you for a fool, but they're the fool. They want to be beginning with you, but you're packing your shit and going elsewhere. This person, all of these are wands. Except these two. The five of cups and the, the king of swords. This person has a, a lot of passion for you. They may want to have a one night stand with you. Like, like I said, trying to get you where you're, like, take you out to a party and stuff. Don't, you stay in the house this weekend and don't let them come over. You stay to yourself this weekend because whoever this king of swords is, they have a one track mind. They just want what they want. I would not trust this person as far as I could throw them. Especially with the knight of wands. It's a, it's going to be a one night stand. Ace of wands, eight of wands, page of wands. Five of Cups, disappointment. Knight of Wands is here today, gone tomorrow. It's a one night stand. This person just they're just gonna try to have sex with you or, and then leave. Period. It's gonna be a disappointment if you go with this person. It's gonna be a disappointment. Don't trust if especially if they're a fire sign or an air sign. It could be any sign, but someone's gonna message you this weekend, if not today, as I'm recording this. And they're just going to try to invite you out to have sex. Or you may meet someone while you're out. Clarify this message for my Gemini. Flash shuffle for my Gemini. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't like this person. If you're okay with having a one night stand, if that's what you want to do, there's no judgment here. You do you. But it's just for awareness because that's all this is going to be. There's not going to be a real, yeah, ace of wands, clarify by the ten of wands. This person is just going to give you, leave you with burdens. Yeah, magician, they're manipulative. This person is going to leave you with nothing but burdens if you um, sleep with them, if you engage in with them, whether it's a friend or family member, lover, whatever. If you engage in this person, you go out to this party, you take their invitation, it's going to be a heavy burden. They're going to manipulate you in some way. Clarifying the eight of wands is the six of pentacles. I feel like this person's going to offer you yeah, two of wands. So you may get multiple offers or you may just decide whether you want to stay or you go. Don't go towards this person. I feel like there's someone pulling you back into your past self, which you used to indulge in. Also, just someone from your past. Don't do it. Please don't do it. If one of us go in, then we all go through it. That's what your spirit team is saying. Look at the ten of wands. And then you go from the Ace of Wands to the Ten of Wands. If one of us go in with the Ace of Wands, then we all go through it. So you're going to take yourself through a whole new, another cycle of a repetition if you do this. All right, you're very close to a new beginning. With the Fool card, it's here. With the Two of Wands, it's here. With the Six of Pentacles, it's here. Getting out of this cycle and having a new beginning is here. But you're being tested right now. This person's going to try to tempt you. Do not fall for it. All right? Or I'm going to be mad at you. I'm going to be mad at you if you fall for this. <laughs> Clarifying the Page of Wands is the Eight of Swords. And the King of Cups. Could be a water sign. Can't screw your Pisces. They're all up in their head trying to message you. Trying to see what you going to do. Okay? No. No. Clarifying the Five of Cups is the Hierophant Taurus. So it could have been someone you were uh, previously in a relationship with, had some type of higher commitment with. Some of you could have even been married to this person or shared a home, relationship, job, whatever. With the higher font, it was like a higher commitment to this person and they disappointed you, they let you down, or the relationship never progressed to that. And then we have the Page of Swords. They're spying on you. The spying on you upset that things didn't progress past a certain point. It could have been an Aquarius. But um, they're coming back in to just do the same shit again. So it don't matter. They can be disappointed all they want. But they haven't changed. Clarify. They might even tell you to disappoint. I'm sorry how things went. I'm sorry. But they haven't changed. Clarifying the Knight of Wands is the Two of Swords. Oh no. You're not going for it. They're trying to come in and have a one night stand. And hit it and quit it. And you're like no. Look at the Two of Swords. No, no. Okay. You're not going for that. And then the sun card. Leo. Illumination. Nah. You could be dealing with a Leo or Taurus or any sign. Libra, Gemini, um, 
Virgo. You're like, no, you see this person for who they are. The Knight of Wands, clarified by the Two of Swords and the Sun card. You see this person for exactly who they are. You ain't going for that. Clarifying the King of Swords is the Three of Cups. Uh, like I said, want to reunite. They want what they want. This is a controlling person, a selfish person. They want what they want. They don't care what you want. You could tell them, like, I'd rather do this. And they're like, yeah, but I, we're going to do this. Or they may not say it like that, but you may want to do something else. And somehow, some way, you end up doing what they want to do. That's their mindset. They don't care what you want. They want what they want. And they want a reunion and reconciliation with you. To have sex with you. To have a one night stand with you. To use you and leave you. Manipulate you. Have you stuck in this. They want to have you like this with the eight of swords. Trapped in your mind about them. Because they're disappointed that they lost out on you. And you're getting a new beginning. You're getting away from them. And, and they want to trap you back. Yeah, five of wands. They're just going to start conflict with the five of wands. All this person is going to do is come back into your life and start conflict and drama. They may even have you in a third party situation. Overall energy is the tower. So this person is going through a tower moment and they want to bring it to you. Because like I said, you got the fool card as your overall energy. You're going towards a new beginning and right behind that is the ten of pentacles and the justice card. Okay, so you clear. And then the judgment and the world. Oh! You got great things coming in for you, Gemini. If they aren't happening already, and I feel like your finances are golden. Your finances are golden. And this person sees how you're shining. You may even recently got a promotion, new car, new house, new job, whatever it is. You're just working on your stuff, working on your goals, and they see your progress. And they want to come pull you back and trap you and take all that back. They want to put you, they want to reverse it. You've been moving forward with the full card, got away from them, and you start a new beginning, and they want to reverse and tear that all down because they feel like a piece of shit. So they want to make you feel like that. Nope, they're going to go through their tower. They're going to go through their death and rebirth, temperance, Sagittarius. Yeah, they may be going through a tower moment right now and going through the dark night of the soul, and they don't want to, so they're trying to bring it to you. They're trying to start this back up so they don't go through it. Reject the ass. They got to do it. We all had to go through our tower moments. You're no exception, buddy. So let them know. <laughs> you don't even have to say nothing to them. But there is no exception to the dark night of the soul. We all have to address our demons, our dark and light. Okay? So we had to go through it. You do too, buddy. Don't let them bring you with them. All right, Gemini. That is your next 48. You're in the spotlight looking good. I send you peace, blessings, and love. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a shout. Namaste.